was 18, and what I saw when I was coming in on the beach, and they had all the barriers, and I could not believe there was bodies in the water, body parts on the beach, which is something I hadn't seen. It was like hell on earth. When I got on the beach, I saw this man with blood gushing out of him, this soldier, and he's crying out to me, help me, help me. And I became so important to that soldier. And I tell this to a lot of people, when everywhere I go, remember you are important. And you got people that are crying out to you that need your help. And so I, I, I did what I could do. It was very traumatic for me. And after that, I got, took, went to England with them after we shipped back the bodies. I was on the beach about six, seven hours, and it was hell. I was sent to Oceanside, California, and uh, that's where I met Jerry, and we hit it off. We were crazy. We did crazy things. We became instant friends, and uh, we were both from New York, so that's, we spoke the same language. Uh, I was ship's company on the common, and we, when he went to the buoy, we got separated, and that was the end of a beautiful friendship, unfortunately. A year ago, or near that, and I get a call from a guy and he says, hello, are you Jack Gutman? And I said, yeah. And he says, you, were you ever in Oceanside? And I said, yes. And he said, do you know a Jerry Ackerman? And I said, I sure do. I got his picture up on my wall with the Beach Battalion. He's my best friend. I've been looking for him forever. I finally found him. We sat on that phone crying over each other 75 years and I was so touched that a man would care so much for me and so we have hit up a friendship now at 78 years and it's been a joy. Oh, it was a memorable love experience for me. It was a delight coming back here. Coming here has given so much closure to me because both of us are coming back here when we were 19 at that time, and now we're 96, and we see you young people, and you're doing a great job, and we're so proud of you, because, you know, you start the torch and you hope it'll keep going. And so I said to you, Marines, and corpsmen, and the, the, the whole military group, I salute you.